Welcome to Life Happens, where Texans come to protect their legacy and prepare for the second half of life. Join your host, attorney Kim Hegwood with Hegwood Law Group and our weekly guest as we navigate the challenges that emerge as life happens. Now here's your host, Kim Hegwood. Good morning and welcome to Life Happens with me, Kim Hegwood, and our very special guest today is Andrew Williams with Care Partners. Good morning. Good morning. So today we're going to talk a, a little bit, uh, a little bit something a little different because most people don't consider this an option, but we're going to talk about adult daycare as an option for dementia care. And so, so tell, tell our listeners, you know, why should a caregiver consider uh, your particular dementia care? Uh, day center. The Care Partners Dementia Day Center is the first dementia day center in Houston. It's the oldest dementia day center and the only dementia day center that serves individuals from late, uh, early to late moderate dementia. So that gives caregivers an opportunity to join us early in the caregiving journey or early in the dementia process. And then we are able to care for the individual for a, a longer um, length of time. As their level of care changes, we're able to, to accommodate for those changes and then provide the care that is needed to help the individual. So what kind of difference would, do you say that the center makes, you know, in, in, you know, in, a, in the person that's attending the day center, in their caregivers? You know, lives. I mean, how does this impact the people that you're taking care of as well as their caregivers? For our members, um, the day center allows them to really find or refine or rediscover their purpose and who they are. So they are able to come into this place that was designed for them and thrive in failure-free ex- activities. And they're able to um, have an extension of their care team in us. So we are along with them on this journey we are helping the caregiver and advocating with the caregiver for the care recipient or the individual with dementia. And we're also providing that much needed support to the caregiver. We understand that there, it is impossible to do this, this condition alone. It is hard to care for someone with dementia without support. So we provide that support and that care. Caregivers know that the individual is in a safe place. Um, and then caregivers can also really tap into our support system. And that includes our caregiver support specialist, who's a licensed social worker. She's able to do one-on-one consultation with them and really get into that individualized action planning. And then there's education and resources um, available to them in support groups where they can meet friends that'll extend past their caregiving journey. Awesome. And it's okay. So sounds like a plan. Uh, what's the first step? How do I how do I enroll someone? And uh, you know, in, 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 can everybody benefit from attending? Yes. So our members greatly benefit from attending. They they are able to engage and meet friends. We have members who have um, come here and over the domino table have really connected with each other and then stayed in touch through moves and also stayed in touch um, through COVID. So. The way to really get connected to us and have that type of support is to give us a call uh, at our phone number, 713-682-5995. But they also would just go to our, can also just go to carepartnerstexas.org. The, the type of client or the enrollment or eligibility is very basic at its core. They have to have a, di- a diagnosis of dementia from a physician and they must be able to transfer um, from sitting to standing or bear their own weight. Um, so that's our basic criteria. It, who, who this works best for is, it, is individuals with dementia from the early to late moderate stages of the disease who are looking for some socialization and engagement. Yeah. In this day and age, just having people to hang out with sometimes is, you know, really crucial. It is. It um, really is. And uh, so what kind of things do y'all do, you know, for the members there? Our members are able to, um, again, coming to this failure-free environment. We're really focused on the process and not the product. They're able to um, really have a lot of fun and connect with other people. That that very important socialization piece that we hear caregivers are asking for so so very often. 
they're able to contribute to their environment through through volunteer work. Uh, we have a day center gives back program. And one of the activities that we've done in the past is made uh, worked with a local nonprofit and made sandwiches for the homeless. They're able to really participate in their enrichment activities, things like the arts, music. Um, the Houston Symphony is one of our partners. Uh, we have art classes that are uh, taught by local painters. Um, and then general wellness. We do a lot of movement through exercise and discovering our, how our bodies can move differently through Tai Chi and sit and be fit and very fun exercise activities. And then finally, just through the engagement of sitting with other people, socializing, having discussions, poetry readings, and things like that, that really keep us connected and grounded in who we are. Awesome. So it seems like it would take a lot of volunteers to uh, pull all that off. Right. Well, we do. A, we have a very dedicated staff. Our staff has tenure. Um, the oldest individual, the individual who has been here the longest, has been here for 25 years. Wow. So really dedicated to this work, right? And then, um, and so we do have a very experienced and tenured staff, but volunteers do really help. They bring that specialization to us. They help us with like the uh, Houston Symphony, um, the community embedded musicians come in and they provide a different layer to the day center. And then um, artists who come in and help us, dance teachers, all of them that help to enrich our program. Yeah, that's amazing. So what does it cost? And then the cost of the day center ranges. It ranges from uh, 80 to 65 to $80. That's a full day and a half day uh, rate. Um, there is some financial uh, assistance available that we can help with when, if anyone is interested. So where do you have just one location? Are there multiple locations? We do only have one location. We are located right outside of, side of the, excuse me, right outside of the medical center at um, Bel Air and uh, our Holcomb and Stellan Lake. So really central to a lot of um, areas of the city, easy access to us. Okay. And, and what kind of hours do you have for someone that they're going to, you know, they're going to drop their, you know, loved one off, pick them up? What, what are the hours that you have as well? Our hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Right now we're operating under COVID hours, which is 7.30 to 5.30. We're hoping really soon to return to our, our normal operations. Um, that gives us some flexibility, individuals who need to work, caregivers who need to work, um, and also for caregivers who just need that, that break in their day so that we can fulfill all of those needs. And it gives the members flexibility of when they can arrive. Not everyone wants to arrive at 7 a.m. Um, we've worked our whole lives. So 10 a.m. sounds good for a start for, for most people. So um, there's flexibility in arrival times and flexibility in attendance days. Um, you can attend one day a week or five days a week. It's just based on what your needs are. So do you find that people um, use the five days? Or are they more of a one to two days, just kind of the uh, you know, somebody, people needing breaks versus people still working and taking care of a loved one? It, it, it varies. And it, it varies just based on what you said. It varies based on what they need. So we are, um, I think on average, most people are here three to four days per week. Perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, any plans to open up other locations? Not at this time. Um, we'll have to keep you posted on that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So <laughs> closer, baby, you know, that kind of stuff for somebody. <laughs> You know, here in, in our area. And right. so, all right. Uh, and Andrea, if somebody wants to get in touch with Care Partners to get on the list, how do they find you? They will find us at um, carepartnerstexas.org. And that's Texas spelled out T E X A S dot org. And then they can also give us a call. Our number is 713 682 5995. Perfect. And I just wanted to thank you so much for giving us this you know, updated information, because I know there's a lot of caregivers out there that just need a break. You yeah. know, they just need to have a, a chance to just to do nothing for I tell a lot of my caregivers, sometimes just doing nothing is good for you. Yes, <laughs> so. You are absolutely right. We have our caregivers have told us time and time again, um, some of them want socialization, some of them need a break. It's like I've been providing these basic cares and basic needs for my loved one. And I can't handle their engagement. I can't handle keeping them entertained. And that's why the day center is here, to give the caregivers a break, but also to provide that purposeful engagement for the individual with dementia. 
It sounds like a very much a win-win. Yes, it is. All right. Thanks so much for being on the show today. Thanks, Andrea. You have a great Thank day. You. you too. Bye-bye. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Life Happens with Kim Hay.